We are back on Kababayan today here in Los Angeles, and it's all about basketball. But get this, because it's March, it's Filipina American Women's Month. And that's why we have a young lady here by the name of Janessa Paredes. If you don't know her, you should, because this lady is going to be doing some really amazing things in the future. Janessa, I've seen you play on the court from the videos that mm -hmm. I saw, and there's something about it. I mean, I'm sure you didn't start out like that. There's a lot of hard work that goes into becoming a really good basketball player, but I'm really interested to understand how do you balance it with all the work that you do for your academics, mm -hmm. because you're taking this program that not a lot of people I'm sure have heard about. You're going to be graduating high school, but at the same time complete all the necessary courses so that you can also have an AA degree, which means when you transfer to a four-year college, you're a junior right away. <laughs> That's impressive. How, how, let's talk about this program. <laughs> uh, so right before I came into high school, freshman year, uh, this program was advertised to us at our my middle school, and it was a program that I had to test into, so I had to uh, take some time off one of the days and just take a test for writing and math and see like if I could actually be like capable of handling like the higher level courses. Mm -hmm. And then once I got in, it was like, okay, so now I have four years of uh, college classes to do to each semester. And that was, at the time I did, I kind of knew it was a lot of work, but then I, going through a program, I realized like it, there's a big difference between like college work and high school work. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, I'm getting goosebumps thinking about <laughs> the fact that you're in high school doing work that people <laughs> in college do. I mean, mm -hmm. there's a really big difference. Uh, how do you think that affects you in terms of your overall perspective on things? Uh, I just learned how to just uh, do my everything I had to do like one step at a time like I could I couldn't like multitask and like try to do a bunch of things at one time I had to like plan out everything and make sure I had to like prioritize all the things I had to do that day and just taking it step by step and just yeah so it's it's, it's really it. focusing and time management right but on top of that basketball <laughs> I, I don't know how how you do it I mean uh, I mean I, I'm just impressed I'm really like I, I don't know what to say. That, that's that's pretty impressive. Okay, in terms of uh, what you want to do when you transfer to yeah. college, is there something that you're leaning towards? Uh, because I know that Glenn mentioned this off the air, which I thought, oh man, I wish he said that on air. But because Glenn is a second generation Filipino American, the pressure to be a nurse, to be a doctor, the, is 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 less, right? right. Uh, and, and so your, your family has really given you the opportunity to pursue whatever your heart's desire. Mm -hmm. That's a big, big thing that you're very blessed with, Janessa. Yeah. So where do you want to take it? Uh, with the early college program, I've, I've taken some economics courses and statistics classes, and that really like caught my interest. And I re actually really liked those classes and found them like really interesting. So I would want to, in college, I would want to take, uh, like, go into that major and like explore it some more and see like where I'd really like start narrowing down like where I'd actually like see myself becoming. Okay, Janessa, how old are you? Seventeen years 17 old. Seventeen <laughs> years old. My goodness. Okay, you've got a lot of time, <laughs> and uh, I, I get to meet a lot of Filipino Americans on a daily basis, but. I truly believe you are something special. Thank, Thank you, you so much for uh, driving all the way from Irvine. I know it's a long drive, especially in that traffic, yeah? yeah? Um, and let's talk about Kaba Hoops because I have the uh, opportunity to work with Kaba Hoops when uh, some Filipino PBA players were in town and Kaba Hoops, uh, they were there to support. Um, let's talk about this organization. For those that don't know, Glenn, can you share uh, what Kaba Hoops is all about? Yeah, well, it's a, it's a youth-based uh, organization, uh, volunteer basis. Uh, most of the people who run it are there because they want to be there, their heart's there. Um, um, it's a nonprofit, and the whole uh, goal of the organization is to have a place for Filipino-American kids to come, work out, and learn how to play basketball 
and um, it's based in Orange County, but they are expanding. They are having, they're starting to move into Carson, and the hope one day is to actually migrate fully, fully into LA at some point, as long as we can get some more support. Okay, wonderful. And how has it been being part of Kaba Hoops? Because I know you volunteer with them. Okay, so check this out, right? So she's, she's studying hard, she's playing basketball, and she's volunteering. High five. That's awesome. <laughs> you, you're, you've just become the model 17-year-old <laughs> in my book. Like, <laughs> check this girl out. Okay, uh, how has it been like volunteering? It has been a very rewarding re experience uh, being able to volunteer at Cabo because uh, coming from Irvine, it's not really heavily Filipino populated. So being able to spend a couple nights a week with just surrounded by Filipinos, like, it just felt very comfortable and like just something about it just felt like right being with everyone and just helping out other like younger Filipino uh, Americans who like want to play basketball. Yeah, you know, and they're looking very... up to you, Janessa, <laughs> going, wow, that's my idol. <laughs> you know, you're mentoring younger, um, younger Filipinos and that's what community is all about. You know, that's so important. Please, let's foster our communities. If you are in, uh, or in the Orange County area, make sure to check out Kaba Hoops. And in behalf of Kababayan today, Janessa, we, uh, we are going to look forward to everything that you're going to be doing on and off the court. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Glenn. Maraming salamat po at magbabalik kami dito sa Kababayan today.